So I pay three thousand five hundred dollars, and I can eat anything. 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 So if I want, if I eat the beef and I want more beef, I can get more beef. Get more beef. Get more chicken. More chicken, more calabres, more anything. Three thousand five hundred. All you can eat. Yes. I can take away. Yes. You can take away. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> we are going Brazilian. That is right. For the first time on this show, we're gonna be having Brazilian food, but not just any. Brazilian food. We're gonna be doing a Brazilian buffet. Right behind me is Claudio's restaurant and bar. This place came highly recommended as the best place that has the best Brazilian buffet. I'm gonna test that out. I'm gonna let you know exactly how it is here. But before we get into the rest of this episode, let's thank our sponsors for making it possible and keeping the lights on. Are you tired of milk that just doesn't measure up? Well, Say goodbye to boring old cow's milk and try Alpro milk. It's vegan, plant-based, and comes in flavors like chocolate, vanilla, and banana. Plus, it's lactose-free, low in fat and calories, high in protein and fiber, and even contains omega oils. It's so tasty. Even cows are jealous. Get your Alpro milk today and move over skim milk. See what I did there? I'm hilarious. Links to all of our sponsors are in the description below. Be sure to check them out. Tell them Big Bite sent you. Let's get back to the video. Tell us about the restaurant. What kind of food do you guys serve here? Yeah, we get the roast beef, roast chicken, pork, calabrese, okay. fish. Tell us about the buffet. How much to eat per person if you want? How much for one person? Yeah. $3,500. $3,500 yes. for a buffet, right? Yeah. When you're doing a buffet, is it all you can eat or is it? Yes. This... Anything you want, you So I pay $3,500 and I could. Anything. 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 So if I want, if I eat the beef and I want more beef, I can get more beef? Get more beef. Get more chicken? More chicken, more calabres, more anything. Three thousand five hundred. All you can eat. Yes. I can take away. Yes. <laughs> you can take away. Yeah. Wait, what? I <laughs> see you have a whole line of food over there. Mm -hmm. Um, I see spaghetti. I see different kind of yeah, rice. Anything you want, put your put. Put your put, and then. Yes. I can have fun here today. People high recommended this place for the best in Brazilian food, so I'm excited to try. Yes. Right, Claudio. Yeah. <laughs> so you're the best. Yeah. You agree? Yeah. All right. Well. If he says he's the best, he's the best. Let me give it a try then. We'll try it, we'll see. All right, good, I don't see. <laughs> now, if you're wondering where this place is and where you can find it, it's at the corner of Light and Rob Street, just opposite Andrew's Supermarket. Uh, you can't miss it, it's right downstairs. We're gonna go ahead and give this buffet a try, but first things first, let's grab a plate. It's all you can eat, so I am going to eat all I can eat. I'm gonna take a little bit of everything. Black beans. I know there's a Portuguese name for it. I can't remember it right now. I don't want to take too much. I'm just gonna take a little bit of everything. Macaron or uh, pasta, spaghetti. They have some white rice. I Let's not do white rice. White rice is too plain. It's too plain. Some farine here. Last time I've had farine was when I was in Letem a few years ago. So this is going to be the first time I'm having this in a while. We got a rice here looking kind of like cook up. Look at that cook up. All right, we got some what seems like plantains or bananas. Take some of that there. We got uh, some cassava, some fried cassava. Plate is looking nice right now, right? Plate is looking nice. We still got some more to take. A chicken rice here. Take some of that, put that in the corner there. <laughs> so we got, uh, we're looking like bora, okra, corailla, which are things I love, so I'm gonna take some of that. All right, now the salads. Now my favorite one whenever I do Brazilian is the vinaigrette. The vinaigrette always has a nice flavor, always has a nice taste. So of course we're gonna do that too additional stuff here like fruits they got beets you got another type of potato salad and you got some green veg veggies but I'm good here I'm gonna take this I'm gonna go sit down and get to the main course well the main star of the show which is the meat let's go so 
now is just the meat and yo <laughs> that is a huge rack of uh beef oh damn all right so guys look at this it's a huge slice of beef i think they're gonna bring out uh chicken pork and everything else and now we got calabrese what down here down here just take this one okay good oh man oh man looks good looks good i'm good i'm good thanks I can already tell y'all, I, I don't know if I could eat all this food because this looking like a lot and there's just two meat, two sets of meat already. Pork. Chicken. So now this is our final presentation of what $3,500 look like. And this is a lot of food. Honestly, this is way too much food for one person. So the fact that you could get this much for $3,500, if it's, ask me if it's worth it. Yes, I would say this is worth it for its price. And not only this, you can get unlimited refills. And not just that. You can take away the food if you want to. So this to me is just amazing. So let's dig in. But first I have here Guarana, Antarctica. This is a, a Brazilian drink. And you know, when in Brazil, let's uh, have a little taste of a Brazilian drink. Oh, that's nice. It's refreshing. And I like it because it's not very sweet. I think I found my new favorite soft drink. Let's try some of the um, macaron, this pasta. So, cheers. Pretty good, good flavor. The thing is, what I like about this, it's not so much about the individual components, it's about the combination of everything. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna like combine some of the beans with the farine. Then I'm gonna take that, eat it, and... That's so good. And you got your your salad with your rice. Try that out. It's the combinations. It's the different combinations. This food is so good. All the flavors individually are pretty muted. They don't really have that impact. A lot of spices, a lot of flavor going on individually. But that's fine because I feel like when it comes to, to like a buffet style thing, everything is meant to be eaten in combinations. So if you're like kind of person who doesn't like their food touching, then you're probably not gonna really appreciate this. But I gotta say, like putting everything together, trying the different components on a single forkful is really good. And now for the stars of the show, the meat, right? This is probably the main reason why people do Brazilian food, right? It's the meat. When you think Brazilian, you think meat. Brazilian meat. I'm gonna start with the calabres. If you want good calabres, always go to a Brazilian restaurant. It tastes as calabres should. Salty, savory. So you gotta be careful. Too much of this might dry out your mouth, but that's why we have a lot of different things. Now, I love pork. Pork is my favorite. Look at that, beautiful. It's glistening. You got a little bit of the meat there. You got that nice layer of fat. Oh, and I got two pieces, so I'm going big. Let's go. Now that is good, bro. And what I like about this is that even though that's like a layer of fat, you don't really taste that greasiness, if it makes sense. Like a lot of times, a lot of pork tends to be very greasy, but this is not bad at all. There was some chicken. Nothing like good old roast chicken. A lot of flavor. You can't go wrong with Brazilian, buddy. You, can't, you really can't go wrong with Brazilian. Okay. Now beef can be a little tricky, man. Especially when it's roast beef. Because you run the risk of sometimes it not being tender enough. Um, I like this indication when I'm cutting through, though. I'm cutting through it good with ease. It doesn't seem 
like it's too hard. I like that already. It has a nice crust on top, but I'm cutting through it with good, with minimal effort. That's good. Nice and crusty there. I like that. Let's give it a try. This slice of beef that I have here, very tender. I don't have to, it doesn't feel like I'm chewing on cardboard. You're getting that nice essence of beef, that beef uh, flavor. You're getting that nice savoriness, nice salt. Um, that's the thing with Brazilian. Everything is just salt. There's not a lot of seasoning going on. I'm pretty sure the main seasoning is salt. And they just let the meat speak for itself. And that is it for this episode of Big Bites. Guys, Brazilian buffet. Have you ever tried it? Have you ever had Brazilian food? How was it? Comment below, let me know. And Claudio, if you've ever been here, let me know how that was too. And if you haven't been here, highly suggest you do it. Come here, give the buffet a try. For 3,500 and what you're getting, I think that's pretty good. Just come, try for yourself. You won't regret it. Until the next episode of Big Bites, take Big Bites only, which is what I'm doing because this food is going nowhere and I have to finish it. <laughs> See ya. I don't think I can go back for seconds. I, I really can't. I can't do seconds. Yeah, I really feel like I eat enough on this show. I don't eat a lot on this show, you know. I just taste. And y'all know me. I love meat. Shut up. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's go.